Today I'm going to talk to you about frame rates. Uh, how to get a good uh, slow motion effect, how to get a good time lapse effect, how to get good fast motion. It's actually quite simple. Uh, originally, uh, cameras would record around 18, 19 frames per second and it would fluctuate like the Bell and Howell, uh, which is a camera that was really popular during the Second World War. Uh, it was a crank camera, so as the crank slowed down, it would it would take longer for the frames to actually um, appear on the film itself, making it impossible to sync to sound because sound would be stable and the frame rates on the camera would go up and down. Uh, the introduction of cameras like the Bolex um, 16 millimeter black and white film originally um, there was 24 frames per second, which became the standard, the standard in the film industry. Um, 24 frames per second was stable enough for you to be able to sync sound um, to the actual image. Nowadays, um, ever since the 2-3 pull down when converting film to DV, to digital video, as in DVDs and whatnot, um, uh, 30 frames per second or 29.97 uh, has become the standard. To uh, make slow motion, you want to use more frame rates. Like in film, you could set the camera to 60 frames per second and it would record more frames in a second, making the actual video go slower. That's how you get slow motion. Recording less frames per second, like um, on, a on a film camera, putting it to 12 frames per second, you get fast motion because you only have 12 frames during that second. So the same goes now to digital video. Um, the actual iPhone itself can record up to 120 frames per second, giving you a good slow motion effect, which won't um, convert to uh, when you put it on your Mac, but as long as you have Final Cut Pro, iMovie, um, Adobe, uh, any editing software, you can put it to slow motion to a quarter of the speed and you'll get the exact same effect that you got on your iPhone. Um, time-lapse video is the exact opposite. You want to record one frame per second, two frames per second, depending on what you're trying to get to so you can get that super fast motion. Um, I'm going to put a couple examples up. Um, here's an example of a time-lapse. This is um, me filming out of my bedroom window um, Puerto Rico's uh, day sky turning into Puerto Rico's night sky. It's actually pretty cool. Now the way I got this effect was you need the camera to be completely stable. You'll see there's a few transitions in there because I accidentally moved the camera. Because it's hard to keep it stable for as long as you do. I mean, it took hours to make that short, short um, video. Now when it comes to slow motion, you need the exact opposite effect. One second is going to seem like an eternity. And um, I got a few examples of that with my students, which are pretty funny. If you see any saliva flying, Totally accidental. So, uh, as you see, 
it's not that hard to make a good slow motion effect. Um, just taking something that's at regular 30 frames per second and, and putting it in slow motion isn't going to look anywhere near as good as recording at 120 frames per second, um, 2500 for super slow mode, um, as they do for explosions and whatnot. And those are high speed cameras that can record 2500 frames per second. Um, most cameras that you buy at Best Buy or wherever do not have that capability. You can buy cameras that are um, high-speed cameras. They're extremely expensive. So yeah, uh, I would say um, stick to cameras that can record um, multiple frame rates. Um, the GoPro actually can record anywhere from 24 frames per second to 120 frames per second. And it can record anywhere from 720 uh, all the way to 4K. So it's a pretty good investment. I mean, the only bad thing about the GoPro is that it doesn't have a lens, but um, there's attachments that you can buy, and it's not really that necessary when you're recording such high quality because you can always blow it up on uh, in post production. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked uh, the examples. And nothing. Um, soon you'll be making your own time-lapse videos and um, making your own slow motion effects. And hopefully that will bring you a step closer to making short films or maybe even making a full-length feature someday. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Uh, I will be making more videos. These are just um, things that I had recorded, stuff I have. I have hundreds of hours of footage so that I can start posting different videos for you guys and um, nothing soon I'll be making more uh, new original comedies and short films I posted a few recently and I'm actually making a full length feature right now called um, uh, Sometimes You Wish You Could A Day in the Life of a Puerto Rican Misanthrope it's actually pretty funny so far so nothing take care